the show there. Well, time now, 714. Let's look over to Holly as you're looking at the forecast. Yes, and look at this sunrise. Sun up at 7.08. It is now 714, and you can literally see that uh, clearing trend that if you're not already seeing some sunshine, you will be. So brighter skies ahead. We have been dealing with some overcast and a few flurries this morning so far. Just flurries, though. This is not any impressive snowfall. We'll just put it that way. But some snow in the air for some of you, yes. And we'll continue to see those push off to the east. We get into a nice dose of sunshine for today, and it's really going to start to feel better, too. Temperatures will rebound and end up above average as we get into the afternoon. So we are talking a Sunday warm up, a milder day eventually, and it's pretty seasonal here as you're waking up today. So if you're heading out the door to church or maybe it's just a matter of uh, this is your morning walk time, you need to bundle up. Temperatures are in the 20s, but as we take a look across the region, there is some impressive mild air. We are going to tap into this as we get into the start of the new week. It's the last weekend of February. We welcome March on Friday and well, we'll look ahead to that and uh, it's worth waiting for or maybe strolling on over to the TV to see all the ups and downs we've got going on. 41 average high for today. We will end up in the upper 40s, so big difference from yesterday. Current conditions at uh, Hopkins. 25 degrees. We are seeing some peaks of sunshine at Hopkins right now. Winds are out of the south at 12. Now that the sun is up, temperatures will start to go up. This is typically just before sunrise, right around that time, our coldest point of the day. It's the greatest length of time that we're without any light. Obviously, exceptions are if we have a system moving through of some kind, but that's not the case today. So we're seeing the 20s and we've got winds that are a lot more reasonable. It's not so blustery, about 5, 10 miles an hour sustained. So the wind chills are also better. Still cold. I mean, no matter how you spin it, wind chills in the mid to upper teens still requires a winter coat and some gloves and a hat on your part. But it's going to be a better day all around by the time we get into the afternoon. We'll be in the mid to upper 40s from lots of sunshine once we clear out what's happening this morning to partly sunny skies later today. And then as we look ahead and go hour by hour on your National Design Mart forecast, you will see how we notice those 40s into the afternoon. This is the view at 3 o'clock. And then as we see more of a partly cloudy sky and that warm front lifting through, we're not going to get as chilly tonight. In fact, you'll wake up tomorrow morning as you're getting ready for work, getting the kids off to school. Temperatures will be in the 30s. So about 10 degrees above average just to start tomorrow. And then we end up in the 50s for highs as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So it is going to be quite lovely. Here's your Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook. 56 the high tomorrow, partly sunny skies. Tuesday, it is very possible. We will be talking new record highs in the 60s. Showers initially. Strong front moves through Tuesday night into Wednesday. So we could have some thunderstorms in the region. And then an early high of 60 with temperatures falling throughout the day, Danielle. We will end up colder Thursday, but by Friday, hello March, and right back into that mid to upper 40 range before we welcome those 50s back on Saturday. Very nice. And Holly, I do see an update from yesterday because yesterday there wasn't the little sunshine graphic on the 63 day, and today you have it. I'm adding it between morning and afternoon before those thunderstorms start to build. Okay, yeah. I'll take it, right? We'll take We're it. all gonna run outside yes. with spring jackets. Yes, loving it. Thank you, Holly.